to another partner is in crime tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to show you guys how to quickly make a curve spiral around a text object. So let's get started. So we'll press numpad 1 on your keyboard to go into front view. Then press Control alt numpad 0 to bring the camera into front view. And then delete the default cube. So just press X on your keyboard and click delete. Next, we're going to add the text object by going into the top left of the screen here. Click in the Create tab, scroll down, and click Text. And just rotate the text so that it's facing us by typing R and then X and then 90. And press Enter to confirm the rotation. And go into the Text Object Data tab. So go into the right of the screen here. Click the Text Object Data tab. Scroll down. And under Paragraph and Align, click Center. So that'll just put our text in the middle of the screen here. Let's left click on this blue arrow and drag and pull our text down. And you can press tab to go into edit mode, erase the text, and type your own custom text. I'm going to type text in all caps and press tab to exit text edit mode. So let's size our text up a bit here. S, move our cursor up. Left click to confirm that sizing. GZ. Move our text down a bit and left click to confirm that. So let's use our middle mouse button to pan around here, our scroll wheel. So pan around here. And you can see our text is looking kind of flat. So let's make it extrude. So put the extrusion value up to 0.1. I want to give you a nice 3D text. And let's put the bevel up. Put the resolution up looking like a pretty good 3D text object there. So let's go numpad 0 and let's finally add what's going to spiral around our text. So you want to make sure you have an add-on enabled so you want to go to the user preferences click this box here and click user preferences click add curve. You want to make sure you have add curve extra objects checked here. So we'll hover your cursor over this checkbox and just click it and click save user settings and just go back to the 3D view and now press shift A go to curve and you should see the spirals option so just click that and let's change the height of our spiral so scroll down here and put the height up so you can see our spirals coming up there and adjust the number of turns in our spiral. We'll go with three. Let's go down and zoom out. So that's looking pretty good. So now that we've got our spiral added, let's uh, shift control alt C and let's put the origin to center of mass. R Y ninety. Rotate that spiral ninety degrees on the Y axis. And then press enter to confirm that rotation. And just left click on this blue arrow and pull the spiral down. You can see we've got the spiral going around our text. So let's use the middle mouse button to pan around here so we can make sure it's spiraling nicely around our text. Okay then. So just press numpad 0 to go back in the camera view. And uh, let's put a bevel on our spiral. Press Shift A. And once the add dialog pops up, go to curve and click circle. So uh Use the middle mouse button to pan around here. Let's right click on the spiral and select the circle as a bubble object for our spiral. So we'll click the bubble object box here and select Bezier Circle. And you can see that's looking like a big tube. And that's because we haven't sized down our Bezier Circle. So left click on the Bezier Circle up here. Just press S, move that in. And you can see we're getting those nice thin text spirals. So we'll just left click to confirm that spiral there. And uh, press numpad 0 to go back into camera view. And what we want to do now is we want to animate this spiral. So let's uh, right click on it. And let's see. Frame 1. We'll pull both the start and end to 0. And hover your cursor over the start. And press I. And uh, jump to frame 20 and just pull the start up to 1. 
hover cursor over that and press I and hover cursor over the in value and press I let's see might put the in value to 1 so we'll alt I to delete that frame that keyframe and just pull this up and put the in value 1 I there so now start to end we have the curve going in there let's make the end value 0 frame 8 and press I with your cursor hovered over that rewind and play this so now we've got the curve going around our text so that's pretty much it how you make that effect in blender so uh Thanks for watching and subscribe for more tutorials from Partners in Coordinated Rendering of Ideas, Motion, and Effects.